Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I want to talk to you about a countersink and when you would use it. All right, friends, so a countersink is essentially a drill bit that also has a taper and then another taper so you can drill your pre-drilled hole and then provide a spot for a head of a screw. These are really nice tools to have when you're making projects, when you're using screws in your projects and you want that head of that screw to be flush. All right, so here we have a stool that we are going to screw together and I want these screws that we put in there, I want them to be flush. So we are going to use this countersink And you can see it provides a taper for that screw head to fit in flush. Now when you use this countersink, you want to make sure you're sizing it for the type of screw you're using. You want the head and the countersink to match. You wouldn't want to make a big countersink for a small little screw. So that's the first thing you need to look at if you're gonna get one of these. Now, let's say you don't have a countersink. That's not something you have, but you still want to provide a countersunken hole so that way your screws are flush. So what you can do, folks, is you can use a drill bit instead. So you can pre-drill your holes and then you can get a drill bit that is the size of your head and then you can drill just a little bit, just a tiny bit into that hole and allow your screws to be flush. So I would highly recommend using a countersink or a bigger drill bit after you have your hole already drilled for your screws. All right, so there you go, folks. Now you know what a countersink is, you know how to use it, and you know the way around it if you don't have a countersink at your disposal. So remember, Remember to work hard, folks, because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching.